Hey folks, welcome. This is the uh, barricade or barrier that comes with <clears throat> the new Warhammer 40k kill team. And today I'm going to be painting it into this. You'll see it's a yellow and black color scheme to go with my Imperial Veteran Guardsmen. I based this a little bit off of the actual Iron Warriors black and yellow hazard stripes uh, scheme. So here you'll see my first color. I'm going to basically, after we've, we've based it, we spray painted it with a little bit of gray. I'm going to start with this contrast black templar black so a contrast paint is almost like a very watered down paint uh, but still has pretty deep uh, color particulates in it and so it's designed you you put it on pretty thick and the paint itself will settle into the kind of the cracks and crevices and details of the model and it gives you the effect of having done highlights and lowlights almost for you so Right now, I'm essentially taking all the parts that are going to be black, which is the uh, struts kind of between the plates. And I am covering them in this black Templar black. One thing about the black is it will, you know, go on top of almost all the other colors. So I'm going to put it on first because I don't want to put this large amount of paint on the model after I've already put on kind of more and more details and then have to uh, potentially have a lot of overspill on top of my fine details. I do know that I'm going to have to touch this up quite a bit after I put in some of the more inlaid colors deeper in the model. Um, because, you know, I'm still working on my details and I'm going to get a lot of the silver and the, the gold and the yellow kind of on this black, but the black is a strong enough color that can hold up to it. Uh, so you'll see kind of going in, I'm in on most of the models, especially the, the characters that I'm building, I will attach them to a stand of some kind. Right now I'm using uh, corks from wine bottles with a little bit of blue tack on top. But the shape of this barricade makes it really hard to stick it onto something, give you something to hold. So you'll see I'm kind of holding the piece of the model that I painted earliest so that the paint has dried. <clears throat> and you'll see that I'm moving my brush around Trying to, trying to look at the light. And then I'm going to switch to my undercoat for the yellow parts. So this is a standard base color. Uh, it's very, very metallic silver. None of the model itself is going to end up being silver. But it's going to provide like a really nice bright uh, brightness and kind of metallic undertone to the yellow I use. Previously, in one of the other versions of this, I, I didn't undercoat with the yellow with uh, silver. I just went straight with the yellow. It ended up looking really dark and dingy, and it matched the fabric of my guardsmen. And I really wanted this to show that this is like a metal metallic model. You'll see the camera angles change a little bit because um, the camera mount I'm using uh, essentially jacked it from uh, from my car, fell down twice uh cell phone's okay that's good but still working on trying to figure out how to how to best capture this so you'll see uh, my brush i'm essentially i'm grabbing a little bit of silver paint off of my wet palette there it's an improvised wet palette essentially it's a piece of um uh, kitchen kitchen paper soaked with water and on top of that i've got some parchment paper so you put the paint on top of it and just a little bit of water moisture comes up through the parchment keeps your paint nice and wet so it doesn't dry out and, uh, and I'm adding a little bit of water in there just to thin it down and adding then the silver. And you'll see I'm using the brush really finely to try to get into the details, into the cracks. So we have the yellow contrast paint will have something to sit on top of. So now I've done the silver on all the paint parts that I'm going to paint yellow. And then I'm grabbing my yellow contrast paint. So similar to the black contrast paint, again, this is pretty thin. You're going to put it on kind of like a thick layer. It's going to settle in all the cracks, the nooks and crannies. So those will be darker colors, same around the edges. And it gives it like a nice amount of depth. It doesn't end up looking, uh, you know, monochromatic. And you'll see even here as you can I'm angling the piece back and forth, how much that silver gives it like a nice bright metallic color. Um, the yellow contrast paint is nice and light, so it's gonna sit on top of the black. So if I get a little bit of overspill on top of the black struts, not a problem. So here I'm going back with the black contrast paint. I'm done putting in my yellow, and I'm using the black paint to kind of touch up the pieces where maybe I got too much silver, 
uh, or you know kind of a different color onto the black or areas of the black where I missed and so the the uh, primer the gray primer was showing through now I'm using this brass color you're gonna see to basically pick out all of the little rivets that are on the model and also pick out these kind of gear cog metalwork pieces that you know are used to expand the barricade right from its from its travel configuration to its uh, defensive configuration um, you'll see I'm sometimes I'm going to be putting the paint onto the palette with a little bit of water to thin it out so that's when I'm doing uh, trying to fill in the teeth of the cogs paint kind of uh, more detailed areas um, or broader areas like when I'm trying to brush the the tops of the long uh, metal uh, metallic like strut that the cogs slide upon but sometimes I'm going to go straight from the ink pot I'm going to do that when I'm doing the rivets because the rivets are so tiny and I'm just trying to tap them with the paint side of the paintbrush to just get a little bit of color flecking on there to give it uh, that nice color make it pop but I don't want to get too much paint or too much wet paint on there so that it can slide around so there we go and this is what we started with uh, the whole painting this project took me about an hour, hour and 10 minutes. And I was with kind of letting some of the layers dry in between handling. And this is what it ended up with. So I really like the depth that the contrast paint gives to the shell craters. I think that that brass really pops against the, the black. And I think it really matches the color, color scheme of my guardsmen, but doesn't look uh, like the barricade is just wearing their jackets. So thanks for watching.